Hello, it's Scott Manley here, and I am looking at the early release of Take on Mars, where you can, in fact, go to Mars and play around with Mars rovers, and, well, maybe eventually it'll get modded like other games and add zombies, but right now, uh, we have Take on Mars by Bohemia Interactive, also known for Arma, the Arma games, which uh, have a very large community and I found it interesting that when I went onto the Take On Mars forums the first thing I saw was people asking if they could use the Mars levels for Arma. Anyway, I'm going to skip through this because this is just the trailer. We'll go straight to the the start page. This is Mars here, nice. And uh, it's obviously the dark side is going to be revealed in a moment, although I should point out that in reality you should not be able to see those stars if you're looking straight into the sun. Oh, there's a shadow there. I wonder if that's one of the moons that I can't see. Or if... Yeah, I I guess that could be a moon there. I don't really know. Let's go to scenarios because we'll do this easy. We'll start a scenario again. Gale Crater. Right? Load scenario. Because this will just do the proper whole intro. You'll see how the game plays. And you'll be able to see that I can pl I'm not playing it particularly well. Press any key. So I guess we start out as Curiosity Rover. What we're looking at is the back of the heat shield, which has protected us through our descent. We're now falling on a parachute, and I don't know if there's any way for me to actually control it this time. I don't see a mouse pointer. Oh, there's a mouse pointer. Um, navigation waypoints, log. Heat shield released, excellent. I wonder if we can see the updates in real time. Oh, looks like uh, that might be one of our wheels there. We're obviously aiming for this landing site and I'm hoping that it'll do it all automatically because I haven't actually seen uh, any manual, I haven't read any manual on how to manually land these things. We've got to just rely on the developers of the of this doing their thing right. Oh! That that looks like that's hit the surface now. The heat shield is now doing 5 meters per second. So wait, no, it seems to have bounced again. Now we're using the sky crane. Look, see the velocity dropping? Very nice. And... Touchdown! Excellent. Oh, there's that. There, look, there's the thing there. I wonder if I can see it on the... No, it's gone. Oh. Nope. Mast system. Wait a second. I can switch cameras here. Robotic arm, robotic arm head. There we go. Look. Ah, okay. So there's all these cameras. There's one camera up there which I can uh, manipulate by using the mast system controls. There you see. Whoa, is that a dust storm we're seeing here? You can... What else can we rotate? We have the robotic arm, which I think... If I switch to the mast, which is the nav camera, uh, God, there's like so many. Robotic arm head. Nope. Robotic mast system. There we go. I can turn this over and hopefully I can look around and see bits of my spacecraft here or a vehicle. Ah, there. That's the robotic arm doing its thing. So it can come out and it can fold away. Excellent. Now... Let's turn this. So the nav cam is, I guess, is an infrared or something so that it can see better and, you know, filter out the terrain. Okay, so what I want to do is find some missions. No mission assigned. Assign the nearest mission. Analyze this rock. Excellent. A filter by mission. And we're set. Now I'm going to switch this control to the six-wheel drive. Oh. i got to find... Oh, no, that doesn't work. So this thing apparently only can't turn on the spot, or am I missing something? No, no, no. Oh! Okay. That, something odd happened there. Apparently it turned to, to face the mission, but I don't know what I did to do it. Maybe if I click this button? No. That button. No, I... Oh yeah, I guess if you hold the button long enough, it does actually turn. Yes, never mind. <laughs> Sorry, quick derp there. Okay, so we got to get over to this mission site. It's 72 meters away. And we'll have to probably avoid rocks and stuff to make sure we don't break things. Uh, can we... Oh, 
Can we close this? Standard HUD. Instrument HUD. Camera HUD. We've got to take pictures. I'm just, ah, yeah, if I click that. Oh, stone laser. I presume that means the mission is to laser this rock. So let's get to it. And aim it. Now, the mast system on Curiosity has scientific analysis in for instruments, right? So this one's easy. We literally use the navigation camera. We go up to it. We get nice and close. And we've got to be sure we don't hit it because we don't want to damage our stuff. Ah, and it says ready. So I'm just going to click on this. And the laser is going to start pulsing. So what it's doing here is it's hitting the rock with a, a high-powered laser. And as it hits it, little puffs of smoke essentially come off the the, la the stone is being vaporized and as it's being vaporized it gives out atomic uh, the, the, the light that it gives off gives you clues as to what it's made of so that's what we're doing just there so it looks like we've got some a analyzing going on let's do uh, two tasks what else do we have chem scan use your chem scam to scan the probe let me see if it does this to mission so we got to the probe and come on Temporary results. Content coming in. Close. I guess I got an achievement there. Excellent. So now I'm going to use the chem cam and stone drill. Do not move instrument. I uh, think I messed it up. I was supposed to use the chem cam for that. <laughs> use the next one is to take a drill. I use a drill to take a sample of the rock. So I'm probably going to have to get a little closer now. It's analyzing. Telly. Maybe this one will get me close enough. Don't want to crash into it. Let's use the nav navigation camera again. Is that light supposed to... Am I supposed to have gone on the other side of this rock? We're right here. Okay. Temporary results. Early access. So this is... We've done that. So wait. Two mission... We've completed 50% of this mission, so the next one is to use the drill, and I presume the drill is on the arm, right? Mast system robotic arm. So let's fold this thing out, and hopefully I'll be able to bring it down into contact with the, in, with the rock. If not, I don't know how this is going to work. Okay, we get a thing folding out. Yeah, let's laser our arm. That would be a really bad idea. Okay. Um, still not sure. Can I rotate this around? No, that's not the way to do it. I wonder how I select the different uh, instruments here. I guess I'll come out... Just that laser... Cam, telecam. Let's let's move this thing in again. It looks like there's a bunch of instruments on here, but I'm not really clear how I select different instruments. Oh, that switches cameras, obviously. Okay, so I have actually checked the checked the internet. <laughs> I literally looked up pictures of the real Curiosity and confirmed that the drill is actually this thing that's on the tip here, right? So, and I've turned it all the way around. See that pointy thing with the three prongs? In the middle is a drill, and I need to put that onto the surface, right? I mean, I'm actually presuming I need to do that because that's what the game's about. I need to put this onto the target and then drill it down. Okay, so we've got it pointed down, and that's us touching the surface. Oh, no, no. Okay, right click to get out of this. Let's push it down again. And then, is that drilling? Okay, hold on. Ah, look, as I just got it the right distance away. Do not move the instrument. I will not move the instrument. We're drilling. We're drilling, baby, we're drilling. That's us. So we just have to have it at exactly the right range. You need to know what all these instruments are. And if, uh, you, like me, you only have a casual awareness of what does what then it might require a bit of manual reading. There we go. So let's fold this thing back. I'm just pulling this up so it will fold itself down because I don't need it just now. I don't want to have it you know, flying around. It might 
bump into something. Actually, wait a second, two tasks, I should probably check. Next thing you know, I've, I've stored this. The drill analysis takes a while, I wonder if there's a way to time skip. It would be... Yeah, I should probably keep this down here, since it seems to be doing analysis in real time. Look at the drill! Okay, let's switch to this. Robotic arm, robotic arm, six-wheel drive, mass system. Hi! You, yes, you did build a robotic arm. I think uh, this one is slightly better. Analysis complete! Yes, it is evident. Ro major task complete with all tasks of major scientific value complete. The mission can be considered accomplished. Well done. And I think with that, it's time for me to say, I'm Scott Manley. Fly safe. <laughs>